Standing in line as a social distancing summer job? This is the Inside Edition Digital Coronavirus News for June 15, 2020. With businesses across the country limiting the number of customers allowed on their premises, lines are growing. First three. As are boring wait times. In steps a St. Louis teen to help line waiters and make a little summer cash. 15-year-old Jack Stark started a company, appropriately enough, called Stand In Line Services. He hired his classmates to wait so their clients don't have to. When they hear about our service, they think like, why, why, why am I still standing here? So I think it really helps them out. Everyone thinks it's a great idea and they want to help. Jack's company is already operating at 10 Missouri DMVs. And since time is money, Jack charges 20 bucks for the first hour and $10 for every additional half hour. At least the wait is over for Parisian cafes. French President Emmanuel Macron recently announced measures to allow some businesses to reopen. Paris has only had a fraction of tourists it typically would host at this time of year. Though one American visitor doesn't mind. It's less crowded and I feel like you can see more of the French culture, the French part of the city. And in Nashville, Tennessee, a bar owned by Kid Rock got a little too crowded. Kid Rock's Honky Tonk on Broadway was among several bars that were fined for not observing social distancing guidelines. Now, Inside Edition's Anne Mercogliano talks to a man who's still experiencing one COVID-19 side effect after beating the disease. One medical issue that hasn't been resolved is the loss of sense of taste and smell. Whenever I eat bananas, it's super strange, but it, I, I have no desire to eat them anymore. It makes me gag because whenever I eat them, you imagine eating a tasteless banana that's just kind of goopy and sticky. Matt Newey was Utah's 78th recorded case of COVID-19. He was diagnosed in March, and after all this time, he still can't taste or smell. Imagine going through a meal with everything tasting like cardboard. They said there may have been some brain inflammation going on, and it may have caused pressure on the part of the brain that senses taste and smell. One result, he's dropped 20 pounds. I miss being able to enjoy food. Um, like, like, I have no appetite. It is so hard to get a meal down. And Inside Edition Digital's Mara Montalbano shares the video diary of producer Alicia Powers as she covers the pandemic. For our latest video diary, we meet Alicia Powers. She's a producer for Inside Edition's long-running television show. Now, as a producer, she is usually crisscrossing the country, looking for great stories to bring to the show, which will eventually end up on our website and our social media channels. But because of the coronavirus, she's been grounded here in New York, but she's no less busy than she was before. Aside from keeping up with the latest in coronavirus news, Alicia has also been covering all of the protests that have been going on in this area and uh, especially here in New York City. Wherever news strikes in this region, you can be sure that Alicia Powers will be there to cover it. At this point, there are nearly 8 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and more than 430,000 deaths worldwide. Here in the U.S., there are more than 2 million cases and more than 115,000 deaths. For more on the novel coronavirus pandemic, visit InsideEdition.com.